Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, you know what day it is. It is going to be Friday Fragrance Review Day. I will be doing a review on the Victor & Ross Flower Bomb. This is the fragrance that I've been wearing all week. And this is the first fragrance that we are going to be reviewing for the start of May here. So as you can see, this is the first bottle that I have. This is a 3.4 ounce of Flower Bomb. I do have a second one. Both of these are testers. I did win both of these when I worked at Dillard's. That's how I was able to acquire both of them. But I want to take this one out of the box so you guys can see it is a second bottle. But there it is. There's my second bottle of Victor and Ross Flower Bomb and the current bottle that I am using. So this is the two 3.4 ounce bottles of uh, Victor and Ross Flower Bomb. All right. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get into the notes of this fragrance and what I think of it. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. All right. So let me come a little closer. Okay. All right. Beep. Okay. So I'm going to bring out this guy here. And this one does have a star because this is one of my favorite fragrances out of my perfume collection. I would definitely repurchase this once I'm done with both of these bottles. However, it will be a while before I have to repurchase, thankfully. <clears throat> okay. So the Flower Bomb bottle here. The top notes include bergamot, green tea. Heart notes include sandback, sandback jasmine, centrovolia, um, rose, central folia rose, freesia, catalia, orchid, I can't pronounce that, and the base notes are patchouli and musk. Now, I got my notes from Fragrantica. That's the website that I always use during my perfume reviews to get my notes is the Fragrantica site. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about this fragrance, I highly recommend looking at the Fragrantica.com site. Okay. So the seasons to wear this fragrance, Flower Balm is pretty well it's suited for fall and winter because it is definitely more of a, a heavy fragrance um, this is definitely one that you will get noticed wearing it will be a head turner um, it, it performs like a beast um, but it's definitely a fall and winter fragrance because it is a lot more heavy and a lot more potent um, the fragrance lasting hours on on this guy Wow um, what can I say flower bomb is probably on the top 10 longest lasting fragrances that I own you can get just wearing this on your skin you can get about eight hours easy with this fragrance if you were to apply it on your um, your clothes as well as your skin you're gonna get 10 plus hours of projection this is a beast mode fragrance it doesn't take a whole lot and you will definitely be noticed and it's a really nice fragrance I don't think it would be offensive to anybody but it is definitely one of those ones that will be a head turner so you will be noticed wearing this fragrance. I was a couple times when I went to the grocery store wearing it this week. A couple people were complimenting me on my perfume. And I really like that in a perfume. And if you want a fragrance that's going to get you your compliments, Flower Bomb is definitely a one that will get you compliments. Fragrance projection. This thing, like I said, it's a beast mode performer. So you can get moderate to heavy projection on it. A little goes a long ways on this guy. Um, but it's definitely a moderate to heavy performer. Best time to wear this fragrance. This fragrance is best. It's pretty versatile. I think you could wear it during the daytime or nighttime. I would wear it during day or night because me and my husband don't really have a whole lot of chances to go out and do anything, especially during quarantine right now. Nobody's doing anything. Movies aren't open. Mall's not open. So there's really nothing to do, but um, and I don't go out very, don't go out very much anyway, but I would definitely wear this during the, um, daytime and nighttime. It really just depends on your preference. It would be a good date night fragrance too. As long as you knew the person, this isn't a good, um, fragrance for your first date. I think it would be a little bit kind of too much, but if you're going out on a date with somebody that you know, I think you could go ahead and try Flower Bomb. And on my fragrance scale of one to 10, for the performance and for the longevity of this fragrance and the bottle. Um, 10 out of 10 for the bottle packaging. I love the fact that it looks like a little grenade. And I think it's beautiful. Um, it's like a crystal bottle and I absolutely love it. It's probably one of the prettiest bottles that I have in my collection with the crystal look. So it's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for the packaging. 
and it is definitely going to be getting a 10 out of 10 for performance. So if you want a fragrance that's going to perform and not leave you smelling, eh, you're going to want to go with Flower Bomb. This is definitely an awesome fragrance. It will stay with you for a long time. So performance and projection aren't a problem at all. This is my baby. I love it very much. It's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely lucky to have two of these. But yeah. 10 out of 10 for performance, 10 out of 10 for the packaging and everything. Flower Bomb is just a 10 out of 10 in general. Um, it's an amazing fragrance. I know it does have kind of a high price point. You can check on fragrancenet.com and see if you can find anything. I do get a lot of my fragrances through fragrancenet.com now because they have amazing deals. Um, you get you put in your email address and they will knock it down like 20 to 30 percent for you and that's a nice drop they also do have after pay so you guys would just pay like your first installment of whatever you would pay for your perfume and then you can start getting it and they do have you pay every two weeks so once you pay your first installment then you could pay again every two weeks the same installment until your fragrance is paid off so i love that about that website but yeah i am really happy to have flower bomb um if I didn't work at Dillard's, I would never have a chance to have Flower Bomb. I've always thought Flower Bomb was way too expensive for me. But thankfully, when I worked at Dillard's and they offered contests and stuff like that, I was able to win myself two bottles of Flower Bomb. All right, guys. I hope you liked my video. Um, and as always, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is not a bragging video. This is just to show you guys that I got these fragrances from contests. I didn't pay for these, but it's just something, one of the like little bonuses to working at Dillard's when I did. Um, also, um, I was planning on putting up, I did get another package today. I got the TTDY, um, TTD, TTDI contact lenses that just came in the mail. I ordered six pairs. Um, I do want to put a video up on those, but I probably will do it maybe tomorrow or within the next couple of days because right now I just don't want to do anything. I mean, I want to put my hair up. I want to be able to have like kind of a more, um, more close-up video of my eyes with these contact lenses. This is my natural eye color, which is hazel. Um, and I'm going to be wearing the queen green to start the contact lenses. But in the next couple days, I do plan on filming a video for the TTD contact lenses that I got. All right, guys, I hope you look forward to seeing that. And I will see you guys. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Brain fart. <coughs> it's been one of those days. We almost forgot to choose the next week's fragrance. Okay. Wow, that would have been an epic fail. Holy crap. Okay. So we have four possible fragrances, and I'll tell you what they are. So we could have a chance of uh, Bath & Body Works One in a Million. We can have a chance at Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. We could have a chance at Mrs. Dior Absolutely Blooming, one of my absolute favorite fragrances from Dior. Or we could also have a chance um, of Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is the only Gucci fragrance that I own in my collection. But those are the um, next four that we could probably um, do next week. But let's go ahead and see what we will be pulling out of the box here. Okay. Now I've got the box right next to me and I've got my hand going around in it. So I'm going to pull out the next fragrance card. And three, two, one. So the next card that I have in the hand will be the fragrance that we do next week. Again, you guys, I hope you look forward to that contact lens video that I will be doing in the next couple days. All right. So this is it. Okay. So the next video that we are going to be doing next week is going to be on, <coughs> excuse me, Mrs. Dior absolutely blooming. Super excited, guys. I absolutely cannot wait. This is one of my favorite fragrances from the Mrs. Dior line. I have this one and I have the original um mrs dior eau de parfum so i cannot wait to do next week's fragrance all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys next week for the mrs dior um absolutely blooming perfume review but look forward to seeing me in the next couple days because i do have a couple other fragrances that are coming from fragrance net that i ordered for my personal hygiene videos part two so do look forward to that and i will see you in a couple days guys bye you guys stay safe out there okay bye guys